How are we doing guys? Welcome back again. Don't know if I'm going to make these into two little videos, I'm probably not. So, last night, didn't take my big camera with me, we went to one of the coolest bars. I filmed some of it, um, insert shots now if I haven't already. Patring. <laughs> Where's the shisha bar? Just up there to the left. It was, it was just behind that half wall. There was just a, a big hookah bar. That's pretty cool. Very quickly, we've just come to one of the most famous ruin bars in Budapest. You have these ruin bars. Sorry about the quality. I'm now on my phone. So this, this where we are right now, uh, looks like a pretty cool. This would be a pretty cool bar for a small bar. Just this room. Just this room. This is one of probably like a dozen we've seen so 20, far. Twenty, I reckon. I reckon 20? there are twenty different rooms we've walked through, all with different vibes, different things going we, on. We walked There's past a shisha bar. We walked past a uh, like a weird sort of zen pillows on the floor, projectors on curtains. Uh, there's a garden. Why wouldn't there be a garden, I guess? There are over eight bars in this one pub. It's called a ruin pub. There are eight different bars. Uh, it's it's colossal. Yeah, there's no way... Right there. If I bought my nice camera anyway, there's no way I would have been able to capture like what's going on here. I'm going to video a little bit of it for you. But if you're in Budapest, you have to explore the ruin bars. I'm not even going to try and pronounce the name of this one. It's going to pop up on the screen now. Go to that ruin bar. It's amazing. We're going to party hard, I think, slightly. And well, have this a few, is 8% and have a few, have and a few a beers. Lot, so 8% beer and you've drunk and you've finished I'm, I'm the damn close, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'm having a good time. Check out the rest of this bar. So, in two hours, we come back here and this place will be around. It was absolutely awesome. I don't think I've ever been to a bar of that magnitude. Pic Pic gar tables. Garden, <laughs> picnic, foosball. There was literally everything. If you yeah. wanted to chill out and just chat with your mates, there were places to do so. If you wanted to get smashed, if you do so, if you wanted to do this and get with people. It was so international. But now we are fresh um, after a slow morning. Um, and we've had some breakfast and we are heading now to another famous place where I've seen so many photos on Instagram and I've seen so many pictures of this but I've never actually gone is we are going to one of the thermal baths which Budapest is completely famous for. Thermal sulfur springs, they've got loads of minerals in the water, it's meant to be really good for you and we're going to the biggest and most famous one um, which is going on the screen now. It was incredibly cheap, it was the equivalent of £14 for an entire day to get into this massive bath and it's the most famous and it's the largest and has the most different pools and stuff. So we're heading there now, we'll see you in a bit. As you can see, it is not the best day. It's actually awful weather. It's like, not even like rain rain, it's that drizzly rain that no one likes. But we've just slowly gotten to where near the park is. Um, and the park is where the, um, the park is where the baths are. We've got these beautiful monuments, and I don't know what they're for, but they're slightly Trafalgar Square-ish. Did you do that? Almost? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it is. And so sorry about the quality. My camera doesn't like the rain. It goes all misty and foggy. You wanna go ice skating, Joseph? No, that's not ice. That's slush. Wow, look at the Hogwarts in the background. Me, yeah. just had to. I do like it, but I don't think I'd ever go back. But even that. We're just getting changed for the spa now. Yeah. So, saying goodbye to big camera and swapping over to my little phone. Which one? It's 28 degrees in the water, I guess. Makes sense. Look at that uh, fountain. It's amazing. Oh. Is that is that is that hitting the spot? So you've got you've got similar pools in Banff, Joe. No, we like, don't. No, no, you we don't. <laughs> Banff Springs. Is this what? Is this comparable? No, not even a little bit. It's also the largest hot springs in Europe. This is the biggest pool, and we just walked through. I thought it was just this one pool outside. No, there's, there's like, like 15, in there. 15 pools inside, saunas, steam rooms, everything. Um, and yeah, and it costs 14 pounds to get in here. 
you that's it 14 pounds day. and you could there's so much stuff here if you had like a bit like a bit more time you could spend an entire day here i reckon literally in and out of the water this is going to be a proper spa treatment looking after ourselves oh <laughs> except max time advised 20 minutes oh darn oh no, <laughs> oh, no. Feeling pretty zen, Joe. How was that for you? We've just quick finish. We've just finished um, doing our little spa day. We said, "Oh, can we really spend like an hour or two hours in the pools?" We've been here just over four, <laughs> um, which is good. Um, it was phenomenal. I've got some shots on my phone. It was great. I'm, I'm so tired right now. I was like completely kaput from all the water and pools. Oh. We came here when it was light, and now it's pitch black. <laughs> Joey, we are heading back now via Lion Bicycle, and we are gonna pop back to the um, accommodation, have a shower, get rid of all the gunk, because you're in a, in a, in a, in a pool um, bath with multiple other people and strangers, so we get all our gunk off us, and then we're gonna head off for some food and a mulled wine and lots of Christmas stuff. After a very, very wet, drowned rat lime ride, scooter ride back, we are back, and we're really quickly gonna have showers. How many, th how many, how many calories are we gonna try and consume? 2,000. 2,000, easy. We are now showered, good, Gucci, ready to go to the Christmas market. Hopefully it's not raining too much outside. My camera gets soaked again. It's gonna work. We've come to this ruin bar, um, which is very small and very cozy. And because I've had a few drinks, I don't mind doing this in public. And we're waiting, <laughs> and we're waiting for a blues band to start playing, but they're taking forever. The singer's right behind us. Oh yeah, the tall guy. <laughs> On there. Yeah. Mm. We've just gone to this little coffee place for a bit of breakfast. We've got a fantastic little sandwich here. Mm. And um, yeah, we just left the Airbnb. It was emotional. Joe Lee got the key stuck, stuck in the Airbnb lock, um, but we fixed it and we locked the door and all is fine. And now we've only got a few more hours to kill until we um, leave Budapest. I've got to get to the airport for about three o'clock. You've got to get your train. We're gonna see if we can lime with this suitcase, but I don't know if it's gonna work. Are we rolling? The plan now is to um is to head up head up head up head up there to that big statue. And it's a big old hill and I and I've got my luggage with me. Which is a little bit annoying, but not too annoying. But yeah, that's a, that's a big old hill to get up. I also don't know if I've told you guys, 
I've got a hole in my shoe. Oh, just man. one of them. And this right shoe has been a pain in the ass. It's just been soaking wet the entire time. We've made it to the top of Citadella, is it called, I think? Citadella. A big, big, big hill, and you get up to the top, and you've got this gorgeous statue of, I'm not sure, but the other one was of Saint Gardea, no. I believe, yeah. Gellert. Gellert, oh, was it? Yeah. And you get this phenomenal view of the city. So, this is where the Christmas market was. That is Saint Stephen's Basilica, Saint Stephen's Basilica. And then... Yeah, this is the river. We were walking all along here the other night. Do -do -do -do. The Danube. That's Parliament, just here. Just is it locked, Joe? It's locked. Joe's a little explorer and likes trespassing. <laughs> so, so what is the citadella? The citadella is... It's a it's Hungarian word for citadel, which means fortress. And uh, I mean, it's got a very fortressy vibe to it. It's very high up on the mountain. And uh, that's up. And we, uh, we read up on it. It was occupied by the Soviets during, I think they finished it in 1854. And then the Soviets wandered down during the World War, basically took over Hungary. And uh, from here, this massive fortress at the top of the hill they actually fired down on the city. Like all those beautiful shots Phil got, they were shooting cannonballs or God knows what and just raining in hell on the city from up here and there was nothing that they could really do about it. It's just horrific to think. We're gonna give you a quick story time. Story time with Phil. I've been coming to Budapest for about roughly three years. I think I've been here twice slash three times. So this is either my third or fourth time, can't really remember. I've been coming here the entire time telling people that this place, Buda Castle, was Parliament. For like the entire time, so new new colleagues would be coming to the city and going, Oh, what's that building? I go, Hey, that's Parliament. You want to walk to Parliament? It's not Parliament. I was wrong for three years. I am I am an arrogant son of a bitch sometimes thinking I know stuff. <laughs> when I know nothing, I know nothing, Jon Snow. And I'm still not in focus the entire time I just did that. Look, this is. Grab something then, my friend. We just stopped off where after our long hike up that hill, which is just there, which I just got a shot of, and um, having a little beer room, and you're having a cherry beer, a different coloured beer. Trying a weird new thing. But we're, we're, we're basically saying goodbye to each other now. Like, I'm going to get a um, bus back to the airport, and Joe's getting a train. Joe's going to Vienna now. He's going on a little Euro tour. So my battery just died, but no, Joe's going off to Vienna. He's finishing off his little um, Euro tour, basically, with a much more expensive place than Budapest. I think yeah. I think you're going to be in for a shock. Well, we're just looking at the um, hostels, and we just got our Airbnb completely private, technically two beds, because we had a sofa bed. And we're paying the same amount Joe's paying now, for or just less actually than he's paying now in Vienna for a mi mixed dorm, six, six people. Six bed mixed dorm, yeah. Um, but no, in, in I think in literally about half an hour, me and Joe are going to be parting ways, but not for long. Thoughts on Budapest? Oh my God, I, I'm coming back. Like, he's, so I, I two days, two days back. ago, Joe said, "Oh yeah, I may never come back to Budapest again," and now he's saying, "I'm coming back." Well, it's because it's tough to get out here from Canada. Yeah. but man, like this is a place worth coming, like more than once, and with good people. It's uh, it's really lucky Phil's been here, but. Time to head home at the airport. Can't actually believe that this trip has been me on one side of the world and then Joe, who lives in Canada on the other side of the world, and um, meeting up in the middle of Europe for a couple of nights. And then we just ditch each other again. I had the best time. Um, I'm actually in a rush to get my flight now though. It was a bit of a rush to get a card, boarding card, because I had to check in.
Oh, well, that's alright, didn't fall. Disastrously slow reaction time. <laughs> the thing stopped moving. Oh, I saw it. God! 